G'day everyone, Ramsey here from One Stop Warehouse and today I'm here with Simon Wang, the Product and Solution Manager for Huawei Fusion Solar in Australia. And today we are going to be presenting to you the unboxing and walkthrough of the new Luna 2000 Huawei battery. Now this is newly released from Huawei, their first ever battery produced and it's going to make a storm in the residential energy market, I'm very sure of that. And it's going to unlock the potential and features of the current lineup of residential inverters, the L1 and M1 series, single and three phase. Now, uh, Simon, could you just tell us a little bit more about these batteries before we open the box? And just explain to the audience, you know, how Huawei came up with this design and specification and what they considered to make sure it's the optimal solution. Yeah, so for Renzi, I have to say the Luna battery is the most anticipated product from, from a Huawei for residential market this year. Absolutely. Yeah, so for Huawei, we put a lot of results into R&Ds and uh, for Huawei, we aim to pro produce high quality product with edge cutting technologies. So for Luna batteries, it have a lot of impressive features like 100% DoD and the modular battery design. So I'm going to elaborate more of the details in the unboxing video. Fantastic, Simon. And uh, before we open the box, I want to show you that this is what the package looks like. And I can already see that Huawei knows battery modules are very heavy and therefore they've integrated nice user-friendly handles to uh, manually handle these boxes around so to make sure you don't injure yourself. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, let's get straight into it now. Alright Simon, let's open up this base. Mm. So as I explained earlier, I think it's a very nice uh, box because you've got these manual handles so two people can easily carry it together. Here we are. Alright Simon, so what do we see here? Tell us. So of course the FAT report. You have it, you know, for every Huawei product. Cool. And here you have all the cables you need to connect the battery modules mm -hmm. to another battery module, or maybe to the power modules. Yeah. So you have the the DC cables, you know, for the, with the Enfino plug. You have the COM cable, and then you have the earthing cable. Cool. And you also have all the accessories you need, you know, for the connection. All right, awesome. And we'll have a look at later at the, uh, the connector terminal interface to yes. see where these plug up to. Yes. Okay. So you also have uh, the cover for the, the com. Yep. Cool. All right, let's take out the battery. I'll take this side, you take the other side. Yep. Three, two, one. So here is one 5 kilowatt hour battery module. Yep. What are we looking at here? Yeah, so this is the battery module. Yep. So 5 kilowatt hours per battery module. You can have up to 3 battery modules per Luna battery. Yep. So this means 15 kilowatt hours. Mm. So usually in the market, you have 3 versions. 5 wow. kilowatt hours, 10 kilowatt hours, and 15 kilowatt hours. And let's check the connection area yep. of uh, sure. this battery. On the right hand side, you have the heat sinks for the battery and on the left you have all the connection ports so all the connection ports is on the left hand side of the battery module you have the DC connection port between the battery module and the power module and then you have all this also can be used to connect the battery module to another battery module you also have the common port for the connection between battery module and the, the battery module on a power module. Awesome. Very straightforward. Yes. Only a couple of connections to worry about. I mean, look at this, guys. As you can see, this is a completed 10 kilowatt hour battery uh, module stack and it's very compact very nice design I love the waterfall sleek uh, shape and profile of the power module on top and can't wait to couple this with the L1 and M1 range yeah what a beautiful product very small compact and clean mm. so same as our residential inverters like L1 or M1 so together 
those products make your home look better. Now Simon, let's talk a little bit more about the side uh, connections and the accessories. Yeah. Right guys, so now let's have Simon help us explain the right hand side of the battery stack and what we can expect on this interface. Yeah, so on the right hand side, it's usually for those connections, it's usually used for the connection between the inverters and the battery. Mm. So we start from the top to the bottom. On the top, you have this DC, DC switch, so it's a DC PV2 type. And you also have these fuses for the over current protections. Yeah. So both components are complying you know, with related installation standards like AS5139. So, cool. Yeah, so there's no external mm. DC switch you know, need between the inverters and the battery. Mm. And on the topic of this power module you connect from here to the inverter, yeah. what inverters are compatible with the lunar battery? So it's Sun 2006 to 2 KTL L1. Yep. And also the 5 to 6 KTL M1 three phase. Okay, so you've got single phase and three phase uh, options, guys, with the lunar battery and from 2 to 6 kilowatts uh, capacity. Yeah, so for the connection between the inverters and the battery, it's quite easy. Yep. What do you have is this the battery ports. So the MC4 plugs is already included in the package. Perfect. Yeah. And you also have these COM ports for the connection between the inverter and the batteries. So using RS45. Wow, mate, I think I can install this myself. Yeah, probably. Very simple. <laughs> okay, guys, so what else do we see here? Simon? Yeah, so it's just heat sinks. And I'm going to talk about the, on the, the left the connection area. Yep. It's usually you know, used for the connections between two lunar batteries. Sure. For the parallel operation. Cool. All right, guys, now we move our attention to the left hand side of the lunar battery. And I can see an array of a lot more Amphenol plugs as well as some MC4 connections here. So, Simon, what's going on on this side? Yeah, so for the left hand side of the power module, it's usually for the connections between the power module and the battery module. And also for the connections between two parallel lunar batteries. Yeah. So, I'm going to start from the bottom, move to the top. So, on the bottom, you have these two plugs. This is for the connections between the power module and the battery module. All right, in a cascading fashion, I see. Correct. Okay, cool, cool. You also have this small small tube. This is the, used to take out the waterproof plug. Yeah. And you have these COM ports. Yeah, let's have a look. You have this port, you know, for the signal cables between the power module and the battery module. Once again, cascading fashion. Yeah. And RJ45, by the way, guys. Yep, all good. Yeah. And also you have, you know, the other port yep. is for the COM connections between two parallel lunar battery. I see. And then you have this uh, another two battery ports, and this is for the DC connection between two parallel lunar battery. Okay, if you want to uh, addition put an additional lunar battery, you use these uh, pairs here. Correct. If you think 15 kilowatts hours is not enough, you can have another lunar battery parallel to expand it, you know, up to 30 kilowatts hours. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So there you have it. Now we'll talk a bit more about this inverter's key features and specifications. Okay guys, so that concludes most of the things we talked about for the lunar battery. But before we conclude this video, I'd like Simon to talk through about this battery's key features and specifications, what makes it the most optimal home battery system for your home, coupled with their L1 and M1 range. Yeah, so this battery is not just looks beautiful, it's a premium product. So first, as I mentioned before, this battery is 100% DOD. And the second is a motor level batteries. And for each battery module, it has its own energy optimizers. Wow. So this makes the battery to be charged or discharged independently. So if you mix you know, a new battery with all the battery, the new battery won't be affected by all the batteries. Awesome. So which means the homeowner can start with a smaller size battery and expand it any time, you know, as required. Yes. And now I'm talking about the safety. So when we design the product, we really focus on safety, you know, of the battery. Mm -hmm. So this battery is with leasing and reinforced fit as a cell type, which is the most reliable and the safest uh, cell type in the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, for each battery module, it has eight temperature sensors to monitor the wow. temperature. Eight sensors, guys. Yeah, and with the energy optimizers in the battery module, it can isolate the 40 batteries. And also during the installation and commissioning, these energy, energy optimizers can keep 
the voltage at zero for working safety. Yep. Awesome. And I'll, now I'm going to cover another important topic, which is in the installation. So with together with the inverter, what do you need is just Fusion Solar app. So the both battery and the inverter will be commissioning with the same app. The Fusion Solar app can detect the battery automatically and it will pair with the inverter automatically. Yeah. And all the working mode of the battery can be set you know, in the Fusion Solar app. And the commissioning process is really smooth. So the working mode of this battery including maximum self-consumption, which is the default, and uh, the fully fitted to the grid, and time of use, and even off-grade. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So full self-consumption mode is best for people who want to maximize their self-consumption of PV. And uh, the next one is the time of use working mode, which is best for people who want to take advantage of their expensive and cheap peak off-peak tariffs respectively. And then you have the uh, export uh, mode, which is best for high feed-in tariffs, I'd say. Yeah. And also the Luna has, has capabilities for future functions, such as off-grid. And we'll go in more detail about that in a later stage. Yeah, and talking about off-grid, in some area you have a lot of grid failures, and what you can do, you can also add a backup box, you know, to your systems. It's just to make sure you have electricity when the grid is filled. Cool. Um, what else can you tell us, Simon? Okay, guys, now the next point I want to make about the significance of the lunar battery release. This lunar battery was the catalyst for unleashing the full potential of Huawei's residential inverter range, the L1 and M1. Because as you know, they have been sold in the market with an extra battery port, but have never been utilized unless they go for the LG Chem option. But now you have the lunar battery, which has opened up the backup box capabilities for backup power. You've opened up extra storage and flexibility, as Simon just explained. The built-in optimizer per battery module, so the flexibility of expanding or adding different aged battery modules together and stuff like this. So here is an example of what you can connect to the Luna. And Simon, could you just uh, follow up and add to this? What else can we can expect? Yeah, so for Luna battery, as mentioned by Renzi, it's compatible with all the popular products from Huawei on the market, including this 2 to 6 KTL L1 single phase inverters and also the new Sun 2005 and the 6 KTL M1 inverters. Awesome. And uh, the commissioning and the installation is very easy. And uh, because the, the inverter already have you know, the battery port, and the, it's just plug in and play you know, for the battery installations. And all the commissioning can be done you know, in the Fusion Solar app. And if the homeowner already have one Huawei inverter compatible you know, with Luna batteries, so adding a battery is a very easy job. All right, guys, well, there you have it. This is the Luna battery unboxing and walkthrough video with myself and Simon. Hope you enjoyed it and this is part two of three series. Third video being the uh, real life installation of the Huawei inverter and battery coupled together and showing you further details of the installation uh, steps and the connections. So stay tuned and uh, very excited to release this new battery to the market. We think it will be a really good seller and, and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us. Thanks. Thank you.